Welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to develop a code for controlling the sequential operation for pneumatic cylinder. Previously you have created a code with latching output. Now we're going to develop this code, this network, so that it will create sequential operation for pneumatic cylinder. Ok, let's check how this code operates right now. If you want to catch up, you can download this template under this video. Ok, if I press the start button, the cylinder starts extending and it stops at the front position. I have to press the stop button so that the cylinder will retract. Ok, now let's change the scenario. Now your goal will be to program automatic extension and retraction of this cylinder. So you have to use start button as the trigger to start the extension. The cylinder should extend to the front position to activate the front sensor, the limit switch, and then it should automatically retract. I have prepared a cycle diagram for you so that you will have better understanding of the signals in our system. I have created a cycle diagram so that you will have better understanding of signals in our system. You can find here position of our pneumatic cylinder, 0 means that it is retracted and 100 it means that it is extended at maximum value. Then you can find the signal from the start button. As you can see this is only a trigger for our sequential operation. Then you can see the signal from the front sensor and back sensor of our pneumatic cylinder. Those are the limit switches in our system. Firstly, the back limit sensor is activated and when the extension of the cylinder starts, the back sensor is deactivated. Ok, and at the end you can see the trace for the coil. The coil is activated only for this period. Ok, so now let's analyze the signals that will trigger and that will end our cycle. So, as you can see, the signal from the start button initiates the sequence. So this is our trigger signal. When the start button is pressed, the coil should be energized. Ok, and what is the signal for de-energizing the coil, for turning it off? This is the signal from the front sensor, from the limit switch. As you can see, this sensor is activated only for short period of time. So it is also a trigger, but this is the trigger for de-energizing the coil. So we have to focus on those two signals. We have to focus on start button signal and front sensor signal. Ok, let's move on to TIA portal. Ok, so we have to insert into our code, into our diagram signal from the sensor B2.2, the front limit switch. This signal should de-energize the coil. So it should be placed in series 
to the other signals that will stop the uh, stop energizing the coil. For example, stop button. Okay. Let's assign here the operand, the variable x e2 position front b 2.2. Okay. Now you have to decide whether this contact should be normally open or normally closed. To do this, we can go back to our cycle diagram to the trace and let's analyze the signal states in our system. Okay, so the start button will initiate the cycle. We will use the code with self hold of the coil. So after activating the coil, the coil will hold itself energized during the cycle. As you can see, all the time the coil is energized, the sensor signal is in low state. So that means that this contact should be normally closed. It will allow the coil to be energized while the front sensor is not activated. That's how you can decide whether this contact should be NO or NC. Okay, let's download the changes to the PLC simulator. Perfect. And let's check whether our code works properly. Okay. Now I will press the start button. The cylinder extends and it retracts. Perfect. One more time. Start button. Extends and retracts. If I press the start button and stop button immediately, it will not reach the front sensor and the cylinder will be retracted. Okay, nice job. You have created a code for sequential operation of single pneumatic cylinder. Now you can test your code. If you are uh, done with the test, let's proceed to the next lesson where we will program sequential operation of two pneumatic cylinders. See you in the next lesson.